Hey, greetings Jabrinos. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Me? Not so good. I've been to a funeral. It wasn't fun. Yeah, that's why despite my stated intent to try and do more videos, trying to get my average up to two a week at least, I hope, we'll see, um, that's why I haven't gotten any more done. I have not been in the mood. I'm working on that though. It's getting a little better. My grandfather passed away. The man had been sick for years. You know, <laughs> sometimes I wonder, you know, I did a video a little while back called, What the Fuck Has God Done For You Today? And I'm almost inspired to do that same kind of angry rant about this stuff again, but what's the point? The man was sick for many, many years. You know, in fact, he had a uh, had a tumor on his spine that uh, was first diagnosed 50 years ago. He lived most of his life with it. Uh, in fact, this was my uh, my step grandfather. In fact, my uh, my grandmother's third husband. <laughs> Grandma is a popular gal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, he you know he was a very nice man. I've known the man for thirty years. Awesome person. And I, he was already in a wheelchair when I met him. He'd had this. He has this spinal tumor, right? And it steadily got worse. And the effects of it, it you know, took away his ability to walk, and eventually took away his ability to use his hands and his arms and his living, and he'd bedridden for the last ten years of his life. And yet, one of the most positive and warm people that you would have ever met in the world. So, it really, you know, twists my gizzards a little bit that, you know, this this supreme being out there that some people out there believe in, uh, you know, did this to this guy. Because, you know, all knowing, all seeing, everything planned out, right? Isn't that what they tell you? Personally, I think it's full of shit. But... I'm bound to not be very happy right now about some of this stuff. Let me give you a little, uh, a little uh, sense of what the funeral was like. It was, in fact, he was an Aboriginal gentleman, and the uh, the funeral took place on the Pegasus Reserve here in Manitoba. And he had beliefs on both sides. He had Aboriginal beliefs and some of his traditional values, and he also followed some of the Christian faith. And I respected that. And he knew I was an atheist, <laughs> and he respected that one of the things I liked about him so much you know um, and the funeral itself was an interesting combination of the different influences they had you know music there as a lot of funerals do um, a couple of local people turns out from a local uh, pretty pussy church group as I call them uh, professional whalers I think they should be called um, guy and a gal the guy both of them playing guitars the guy fairly skilled fairly melodic knew what he was doing uh, the woman, absolutely freaking terrible. An abomination upon the face of the earth. Quite literally, the way she was singing over there. And absolutely everything she sang was, Jesus, come to Jesus, the entire time. That's exactly what it sounded like. There she is over there playing guitar. Jesus, bring your faith to Jesus, everything to Jesus. And I swear to God, that's exactly what it sounded like. It's absolutely freaking horrible, you know. What these people are allowed to show up at funerals for, I haven't a fucking clue, you know. <laughs> In contrast to that was this Aboriginal drum group, you know, like a powwow group. With the drum, traditional singing, and they sang a morning song for the man. It was amazing. It was melodic, it was sorrowful, it was passionate. It was pitch on. That was music despite the only instrument being the drum and eight men's voices. They were awesome. And I thought that was a nice tribute to the man. My dad, <laughs> my dad's a championship fiddle player. And he played the fiddle for him. And in addition to a couple of traditional hymns, which my grandfather liked, Ed, my grandfather, he enjoyed square dancing and the music for that. So my dad played a square dancing song. And it was bright, it was cheerful, it was sprightly, it was beautiful, and that's my dad, all class, all class. <laughs> but yeah, it really, you know, oh man, why are people allowed to show up at funerals like that? You know, who invites these people? Jesus, come to Jesus. Oh, God. 
I don't know what more to say. Freaking horrible. Absolutely freaking horrible. Oh, wow. Don't go to those funerals. Don't let them pe people come to yours. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on the attitude and the mood. Going to get back to making some regular videos. In fact, I have a little project in mind mm -hmm. to try and force myself to do more. So, hopefully, next week, Monday through Sunday, seven videos. One each day. I have a little theme thing idea. So we'll see what happens. We'll do our best, and we'll see you then. Peace. Long life to you.